hi everyone welcome back to my channel how you are doing hope you are doing great so in this video we're going to be making a blouse a princess that blouse using it for a wrapper this is a requested video now we'll be doing all the requested video one after the other in case you requested for a video please you have to be patient i will get back to you guys i have to do it one after the other and if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like and share my video and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get to know each time i upload a new video so let's get to it <laughs> we're using one and a half meters of fabric for this tutorial this is the fabric i'm working with it's a velvet lace fabric we start by taking the measurement so i will cut the front part before we cut out the back panel so i use the biggest part of the body which is the hip measurement to cut out the fabric the hip measurement is 46 inches i divided it into two because i'm cutting out the front one and the back one so it's 23 inches then i added some allowance to it so we'll go ahead and fold the fabric into two The length of my blouse is 24, 24 inches. Then I will be adding one inch for seam allowance here. So that is 25 inches. And the damper, the savage is okay. So I won't be hemming the damper. So I will start with place the measurement now. From shoulder to bust is 10 inches. Now I'll be adding half or one inch for, for seam allowance. Remember I'll be joining them here. So I'll add half an inch for seam allowance. Then I'll place my 10 and half inches here and the under bust measurement is 14 inches plus half an inch seam allowance that is 14 and a half inches and the waist measurement is 16 and a half inches plus half an inch seam allowance that is 17 inches this is my 17 inches then the hip from waist to hip is 8 inches so this is the hip line and then I will draw a horizontal line Go ahead and place the circumference. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 is 8 inches. Then I add half an inch for seam allowance that is 8.5 inches. Now I place my 8.5 inches here. Right from here, I will take my arm hole. My arm hole is 9 inches. I will draw the line or so with nine inches. I'm taking five inches for the wideness of the neck. In the damp part, I'm taking five inches. So I'm taking five inches as well. So I connect the line. So I'll go ahead and place the bust palm. The bust palm I'm working with, or bust to bust, is 8 inches divided by 2. Because the fabric is folded into 2, you divide the 8 inches by 2, which is 4 inches. Then I'll add half an inch for seam allowance. That is 4.5 inches. So I'll place my 4.5 inches here. This is the bust line. I'll mark the 4.5 inches down, all the way down. Under the bust line here, I will take one inch on the side and take one inch on the other side. Then the waist line, I will still take one inch on the side and take one inch on this side. And uh, I will come here, this is the bust line. I will come down one inch from the bust line. Then I will connect my, the one inch I marked out on this side and the one inch on the, I marked out on this, I will connect, I will connect them to this one inch, to this place. I came down one inch from under bust measurement. So I will connect this one inch to this and connect this to this 
the waistline as well one inch I'll bring it down then I'll take it down to the hip side the box measurement is 40 inches divided by 4 which is 10 inches then I'll add 2 inches for seam allowance under bust measurement is 36 inches divided by 4 is 9 inches remember I marked out 1 inch here, 1 inch on this side, that is 2 inches so we're going to be cutting these 2 inches out and I'm adding the 2 inches back so I'll make sure I add the 2 inches back so that I don't have shorted the fabric so I will add the 2 inches then I add 2 inches seam allowance here I'll do the same thing to the waistline, just take it to the waistline. There's no need of placing the waist uh, measurement. You just take the under bust measurement and bring it down to the waist side. And the, the hip measurement is 46 inches divided by 4, which is 11 and a half inches. 11 and a half inches. I will add 2 inches to it. These two inches I'm going to be cutting out. You know I'm going to be cutting out these two inches because from the waistline I just drew it down to the hip line. So I mark two inches here and I'm adding two inches for seam allowance as well here. So I'll connect the lines together from the bust to under bust, from under bust to the waistline and from the waist to the hip line. So here at the armhole, I will take one inch flat. And I will look for the midpoint of the armhole. This is the armhole midpoint. I will take one inch on this side and take one inch on this side. And I will come to the bust line. Mark one inch above the bust line. I will take this one inch I cut out to meet this and I take this one I cut out to meet the bust line the one inch above the bust line I don't want this place to be sharp the bust point then I will just curve it make sure it's curved here and on this side I will add two inches to this place because I don't want to have a shortage of fabric after joining it so here I will mark two inches here and I'll connect it like so I'll go ahead and cut out the fabric Should I slant out and call the neckline? So this is what we have after cutting it. So we set this aside and cut the back panel. I'm not I'm not gonna be adding line into this um blouse. I'm just sewing it 
like this. So, so the back, this is the fat back side, it's folded into two. This line I marked out here is for the zip allowance, about one and a half inches for zip allowance on this side. Then from shoulder to bust, it's 10 inches plus half an inch seam allowance, that is 10 and a half inches, this is bust line. Then from shoulder to waist, is 17 inches plus half an inch seam allowance. Then waist to hip is 8 inches. So this is the bust line, this is the waist line, and this is the hip line. So for the back side, I, there is no need of adding the under bust measurement. So we'll go ahead and place the measurements. Shoulder measurement is 16 inches divided by 2, 8 plus half an inch seam allowance, that is 8.5 inches. Now from here I place 9 inches hump, hump hole. Taking five inches for the wideness of the neck. Remember, we take out marked out five inches for the front, so we still do five inches for the wideness of the neck here, the back side. For the back depth, I'm taking three inches. So I'll connect the connect them together. I will mark one inch shoulder slant here. So I will put my post palm, post to post uh, measurement, post palm measurement. So I will start taking it right from this line. I marked the zip measurement. This one is not included. 8 inches for the post palm divided by 2, 4 inches plus half an inch allowance is 4.5 inches. Just like we did to the front one. I will take it down 4.5 inches. Try marking on here. So on this side, I will place the dart measurement. I'm only placing the dart measurement on the back side. Now we'll come to the waistline and take half inch on this side. Now we'll take half inch on this side uh, for the dart. Then I will connect the lines. I will take this right from the bust line. I will connect it. So I will connect this um, half an inch to the bust line and connect this half into the bust line. So here, make sure your dart don't get up to the hip line. So my dart is up to three inches above the hip line. Take the half an inch, you connect this half inch again, connect it here. My dart, my dart length is 10 inches, so make sure I don't get to the hip line. So mine is 3 inches above the hip line. Cut the arm hole. I'll take the circumference measurement. The bust measurement is 40 inches divided by 4, 10 inches. So I'm adding 2 inches for seam allowance. And the waist measurement is 36 inches divided by 4, which is 9 inches. And I will add the 1 inch that I mapped out. Then add 2 inches to my allowance to it. So make sure you start your measurement right from here. This line here is for the zip allowance. So any measurement you're taking, any circumference measurement you're taking, this shouldn't be included. And the hip measurement is 46 inches divided by 4, which is 11 and a half inches. So from here I start the line, start placing your measurement right from here, because this is for zip allowance. So I will take 11 and a half inches on the side, then add 2 inches for seam allowance. So I'll go ahead and connect the lines together. So that's it for the back. I will go ahead and cut it out. So 
So I'll set it aside. I'm cutting out the sleeve now. I'm cutting out a fitted sleeve. I'm taking 24 inches for the sleeve length. I'm marking 9 inches for the ampoule I marked out before. I will place 3.8 here. I have a video on how to cut out the basic sleeve in my channel, but I will still demonstrate a little bit on it. This is the 9 inches. I look for the midpoint of this 9 inches, which is 4.5 inches. Now connect it, start connecting it right from here. Take it here. This sleeve curve is 9 inches plus 1 is same allowance. That is 10 inches. Divide by 2 is 5 inches. So I'll just draw this line. To make this. So go ahead and cut it out. So I'll cut out two of these. I'll use this to cut the other side. So we'll finish cutting everything. Next step is for us to put the whole fabric together. So we start with the front panel. I'm not adding line into this top. I'll go ahead and pin here. Make sure the right side are facing each other. So I'm pinning the half inch I cut out for seam allowance. So after pinning the front one, now we'll take the back panel, split it into two. So this is where I will insert my zip. And now we pin the dart. Sent into the other side. So I'll go ahead and sew the space I pin and the back that. I'll finish sewing the front and the back panel. So I'll go ahead and pin the zip to the back panel. Remember, I cut out about one and a half inch for zip allowance. So my zip is up to this place. I will stitch here and attach my zip to the fabric. So you take the zip and pin it and take my one and a half inch which I cut out for zip allowance and pin my zip to it. So I also pin this side. I will just stitch here and stitch the other side so after I've done that I will take my bias stripe and uh, use it to hem the neckline I will sew it round then turn it to the and turn it to the other side and uh, sew it again I'll finish attaching the zip and I've also hemmed the neck of the the blouse. I've hemmed this side as well. So I will take the front and the back panel, join them together. First, I will pin the shoulders. And pin this side. So before we pin this side, I will take my measurement, the exact measurement. I'll look for the midpoint. So the bust measurement is 40 inches. I will divide it into two. The front will be 20 inches and the back will be 20 inches. So this is the bust line. I will take my 20 inches here. And pin it 
The under bust is um, 36 inches divided by 2. It's 18 inches. Um, in my 18 inches. So we place the exact waist measurement also. I got the same thing to the hip side. So I'll go ahead and sew the shoulders in the both side. After I've done that, you sew the side of the sleeve. Then this is the right side. After sewing it, you turn it to the right side. So we tuck it inside. The right side of the sleeve inside, and I'll look for the same the side seam, match them up together. Now pin them round. So I will sew the sleeve round, attach it to the armhole, and I will do the same thing to the other sleeve also. So I finished sewing the shoulder both side. And I've also attached the sleeve to the blouse. So here is the finished look of the blouse. The sleeve, long sleeve. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like and share my video. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye. Love you.